Okay guys, I just want to do a quick video here um, about the biblical mark of a false prophet. Um, someone that prophesies in the name of the Lord and things that don't come to pass. Um, that is the biblical mark of a false prophet. I'm actually going to show you scripture about that. Um, again, this is just a quick video because people are listening to people like uh, this bro Mike man of God and these people that are calling for the rapture and setting dates like in, uh, what's that guy's name uh, informed Christians there's date setters and they're saying the Lord told me this it's gonna happen on this day uh, and it doesn't happen that's a false prophet um, according to the Bible and uh, this is a good example I'm using Paul Bakley and Paul Bakley is wicked he's got all kinds of problems he's a he's a Catholic so um, let's listen to this real quick and then uh, I'm gonna talk about it now, prophecy number 10. Syria will fall in the year 2013. Syria will fall. The, the verse, again, Isaiah chapter 17, verse 1. See, what he does is he goes back to Isaiah chapter 17, verse 1, when it talks about Damascus falling. Um, that hasn't happened yet. Okay? It is now the year 2017. This is back in 2013. And you're saying, why are you using a, you know, why are you using a video from 2013? I'm just giving an example of a false prophet, someone that prophesies in the name of the Lord and things don't come to pass. Uh, that is a false prophet. And uh, Syria did not fall in 2013, by the way. So he's quoting Isaiah 17, 1, where it talks about Damascus falling. You know, uh, that hasn't happened yet. And uh, a lot of Isaiah is written to the time of Jacob's trouble or the tribulation. I hate using the term tribulation because it's not in the Bible. It's not called the tribulation or the great tribulation. When you put that in the Bible, when you put that into words and try to use that as doctrine, you're actually adding to the word of God because nowhere in the Bible does it say the great tribulation in that phrase. It's called there is there shall be great tribulation, but not the great tribulation. That is never given as a title of that time period. Let me make myself clear. It is called the time of Jacob's trouble or Daniel's 70th week. Okay, so this liar right here has a prophecy of 2013 that, you know, Syria will fall. Well, that didn't happen. Whoops. I guess he's a false prophet then because that's what the Bible says. Um, let me go to the Bible real quick. I already got my Bible turned to it. I'm ready to go. Jeremiah 14, 14. Then the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesied lies. In my name, I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. See, this guy has an agenda, and that is to get money. Okay. And he has another video, too, about, you know, taking the mass, the Catholic mass. He's a papist. But uh, just giving you an example of a false prophet, a biblical mark of a false prophet. This is one right here. And he goes on in this video, and he talks about, the seven-year peace agreement, the covenant in Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, he says 50% chance it'll be signed, you know, and then God showed him this. Huh? You, you see what I'm saying? These guys are fakers. You got to be careful these people that call themselves prophets or they have prophecies. Okay, prophets are not for today. They're not for the Gentiles. They are for the Jews because the Jews require a sign. Okay, 1 Corinthians 1, 22. See, you need to get this through your head who the Jews are, who the nation of Israel is. They require the sign. Okay, signs are for them that believe not. It's not for not for us, not for Gentile Christians or Gentiles in general. Gentiles require wisdom. They seek after facts, knowledge. They research things. Jews require signs and wonders. That's just the way it is. Okay, right now there's no prophets today. Sorry, I haven't seen any proof of that. Um, dreams and visions, another thing that's not for today. Acts chapter 2, verse 17, and Joel 2, 28, I believe it is talks about dreams and visions being poured out on all flesh. That's talking about the seven-year time period during that time. Because why? Because God's going to focus his attention back to the nation of Israel again. Right now, he's dealing with Jews and Gentiles right now. So, and that, you know, people say, well, what about Galatians 3.28? Well, what about that? It's talking about in Christ. People in the time of Jacob's trouble are not in Christ. Okay. Uh, there's neither Jew nor Greek, neither bond nor free, neither, neither male nor female. So I guess we're sexless now, too, apparently. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> to try to prove that to get rid of the Jews is just ridiculous. And try to take what they, what's for them in the Bible 
uh, you're teaching heresy because that verse is not talking about uh, what applies to Jews applies to us now. No, sorry, doesn't work. It's talking about people that are in Christ. Okay, so this is a biblical mark of a false prophet, and I just want to show you this real quick because people get all upset because I'm exposing informed Christians and uh, that bro Mike Man of God guy and Swift Passage. All these heretics, they're coming out saying, I've got a word from the Lord, you know, and they prophesy this thing and it doesn't happen. That's a false prophet. And they're damned, condemned to the lake of fire, according to the Bible. So they're trying to make a prophet. That's what they're trying to do. So that's going to be it. Uh, so I'm going to be coming out in my next video soon about, uh, I'm going to be rebuking two false prophets that deny the Trinity. And one of them actually calls himself a prophet. Go figure. And I'm going to be coming out with another video about dreams and visions. Are they for today? And I'm actually going to use scripture on that and show you why that's not for today. Okay, so that's going to be it. Thanks for watching.